Hey everybody, I hope you've all had the best first day of 2018. It is the 1st of January 2018. It is a new year full of possibilities. I'm also really psyched that it starts on a Monday. Like the fact it is Monday the 1st of January of a new year just, well obviously it's a new year, it's January. You know what I mean. Like I find that so exciting that it's Monday. It makes me really, really happy. And I was saying this to my parents and they were just like, mm-hmm. Cool. And I was like, it's a Monday. So I really hope that one of you, at least one of you, is as excited as me about the fact the new year starts on Monday. It just pleases me on a whole other level. Anyway, it is a new year. New possibilities, new starts, new year's resolutions. They come around every year and yeah like we all we all make them I think whether you officially make them or whether you make them in your head um, and if you don't make them then good for you you've got your life sorted out but I like New Year's resolutions I just think it's it's nice to take stock and you know take that time for yourself to consider what you want to change and what you want to work on I think that's I think it's like an act of self-love actually to sit down and say this is what I'm not happy with and this is what I'm going to do about it and it's full of hope and promise and I am so on board with that but as well as some personal resolutions that I'll be making I also have some that are beauty related and I thought I would make a little video and tell you guys about my beauty resolutions because I think they're going to have a big impact on my channel in 2018 and the sort of content that I'm doing and things like that so yeah big big changes. Last year, and I have kind of touched on it in other videos, um, my mental health was not good. Um, I was not in a good place, I was not happy, I was pretty miserable actually. But without going too far into it, one of the things that I did to kind of cope with that was totally overspend. I bought far too much and it, I think like my thought process was that I wasn't happy but when I owned this particular lipstick or when I owned this eyeshadow palette I was going to be happy and um, surprise surprise it didn't work and pretty much as soon as I got that thing and that didn't work I would just immediately kind of assign a new thing to this is going to make me happy so I would buy like a lipstick one day and then an eyeshadow palette the next day and at, at its worst I was buying like a one new thing a day and it was never it was never a bit run, it always had to be, you know, something, it was a NARS lipstick or an Urban Decay eyeshadow palette, like, you know, a Boots number no. 7 wasn't, wasn't cutting it. Um, so I really overspent basically and my collection is huge and out of control. So the first thing that I'm going to do throughout January is upload quite a lot of videos. I don't want to quite say I'm going to do a video every day in January because I said that before. That I was going to vlog every day and it didn't happen so I don't want to set myself up for failure but I'm going to do quite a lot of content in January that's going to be a lot of hauls because I want to get everything that I have bought filmed shown to you guys in a whole video and put into my makeup storage or like my skincare storage. Once I have done that and I have shown you everything and put it away I'm going to film a makeup collection video. I've been asked for that a lot. I think it's one of the most popular requests that I've got and I've always been like, oh, I've got this haul to film or like I'm not happy with my storage or whatever. Once I filmed all these hauls, I'm just gonna film this makeup collection because the first resolution that I've got is a year long no buy. So whatever my makeup collection looks like at the end of January, that is gonna be the biggest it's ever going to be. It's going to be the most organized it's ever going to be probably in terms of in its current incarnation anyway and yeah the storage is never going to be perfect but it's going to be switching about a lot this year whilst I do different things so yeah I'm going to film that at the end of this month and then I'm going on a year long no buy so I'm really at the moment it seems like a good game I'm like really and you know when you when you first start something you're like yes I'm so into this like this is a great idea um so at the moment I'm not worried about it but I know that there'll be something that will release later in the year that will be limited edition and I will be like dying over it. I know that I'm going to be tested throughout this but yeah I need to do this year long no buy because my collection is completely out of control. I have notes by the way. There are four potential exceptions. 
Number one is brushes. I am going to let myself buy makeup brushes, only ones that I know that I need and not ones that I'm deluding myself that I need. Um, but basically, I keep using the same ones. I have far too many brushes. I'm going to clean out the ones I'm not using, buy a couple of backups and just have less better chosen brushes. So I am going to let myself buy brushes. I do only have one makeup setting spray if I finish that, which I don't actually know if I'll finish it in a year because I've had it for quite a long time um, and it's still over half full. So I don't, I don't actually see me finishing it in a year, but if I do finish it in a year, I will let myself replace that because that's not something I hoard. I have one if I finish it, it'll be a one in one out situation. The third exception is an eyebrow pencil, which to be honest, I'm thinking I'll probably ask for it for my birthday in July rather than me actually breaking my no spend for it. This in itself, I think is like my first lesson that I have learned this year is that I love like eyebrow pomades and powders and I love the look you can get with that. But on a daily basis, what functions for me is an eyebrow pencil. It's quick and it's easy and I have far too many pomades and powders and things for somebody who is not willing to do that on a daily basis like I'm not willing to get up in the morning and do that so um I think there's going to be a couple of other lessons like that this year where I will learn that yes I like this and this is the ideal but actually this is the reality and this is what I use and this is what functions and I think I'm going to have to learn to tie up the practicalities of what I will actually use with what I ideally would like to use um, and either make some changes to be less lazy and fill in my eyebrows with, pen, uh, with powder every day or I cut my losses and say right this is what functions in my makeup collection and that's what I'm going to keep buying going forward and I'm not going to buy multiple pomades and other things. So yeah I, I think that's that's been a kind of realisation already for me. So come my birthday in July if I have finished up I've got three I've got three eyebrow pencils at the moment um, and if I've finished all of them in July I will ask for another one. If I've not finished them all in July but I do finish them all by the end of the year I will buy another one but we'll, we'll see what happens. The fourth exception is that I may be going to New York later this year. There are practicalities, that seems to be my buzzword, there are practicalities that are very much in the way of that and I don't know if it's realistic um, but we have kind of priced it up and I'm really really keen for it. So. If I go to New York it'll be in September, um, September, October kind of time we're looking at. Um, I will let myself buy things in New York however if we go I will set a budget. There will be certain rules like I will only be allowed to buy things that I genuinely cannot get at home or that are much much cheaper um, in America than they are at home so that will restrict me. I'm also hoping that by September, October time having been on this no buy and doing the other things that I'm going to do um, I will kind of have learned my collection a lot more and I will be a much more mindful consumer. They will be my only four exceptions, may or may not happen, but yeah, just in case they do happen, I'm putting it here at the start that those are the exceptions to the year long no buy. I made my last purchase on the 15th of December 2017, so my year long no buy, I want to take it to the 16th of December 2018, so that is the plan, fingers crossed. And the second thing that I'm going to commit to resolutions wise is that I am going to do the Reverse Rouge challenge this year. So Reverse Rouge is a Reddit challenge where you tally up everything that you've used and basically in the way that you would achieve VIB Rouge in Sephora, you achieve Reverse Rouge by using up a thousand dollars worth of product. Um, last year I was VIB Rouge by May. Um, when I went to Florida, I, I redid my status in May. When that's that's a thousand dollars in a in a shop that isn't even in the country that I live in, that I've managed to spend. Um, I was also Space NK Indulge Deluxe, which is a thousand pounds in a year, and I'd done that by April. So Reverse Rouge is about doing the opposite, where you get a point for every dollar that you use up, and you aim to use up a thousand dollars worth of product. And part of that is that it will make me hopefully a more mindful consumer. Um, because it will make me realise just how long things actually do take to use up. Um, you know, we always say on YouTube like, oh this palette is like such good value for money because it's like £40 and you're getting 12 shades. And it is, but it's like the actual how long it would take you to use up a palette is insane. Um, so yeah, so by like really concentrating on using products up, it, it makes you really realise when you like choose to add a palette to your collection, how long you're committing to 
being with that palette for. So yeah, I think it'll make me a much more mindful consumer, which is why I'm hoping that if we do go to New York, it it won't be a problem because by that point I will have hopefully changed my habits and changed the way that I look at products and what I see when I look at products rather than just being an instant gratification. This is the the scary bit. The inventory. So when you do reverse rouge you make an inventory of all your stuff that you own so that you have it all listed and you know the value of it so that when you use it up you can easily add it to your reverse rouge spreadsheet. You don't need to do this but most people do this and I thought do you know I think I'll do that because it will just be quite useful to be able to go on and see like oh I'm looking for like a brown eyeshadow here's all the ones that I own. I thought it would be a useful tool it's been a terrifying tool. Basically guys I could have had a deposit for a house because my makeup inventory as of right now, on the 1st of January 2018, my hair care is worth $1,926.82. My skin care is worth $10,518.90. And my makeup collection, that stuff behind me that all fits on a dressing table, is worth $16,506.45. And 45 cents. Grand total there is $28,952.17 in what I own right now. So I have used products up in the last year so I've spent more than that. I have products that I need to film throughout January and add in so yeah like basically $30,000 worth of product is in my bedroom and I buy things and I use them once and it's really awful um, and it's not until I've done that, in that inventory for doing reverse rouge that I realised how horrible those numbers were. So that is why I need to do a year long no buy and also why I want to change my habits and the way that I look at things because my spending has been problematic and it's been a reflection of my mental health in the past, really badly in the past year but probably for a lot longer than I've realised I've definitely shopped in an emotional way which I think everyone kind of I think there's a running joke about how people do that but like that has excused my behaviour because I've thought everyone goes shopping to cheer themselves up like oh, it's a standard thing and it's like no not not the way that you go shopping pal so yeah I really need to change my habits but we have faced it it's going to get worse by the end of January because I'm going to film all my things and then add them onto my inventory but then it's only going to get better from there on in because we're going to change our habits. I say we, I mean me, I mean my habits, but it makes me feel better to make it a wee situation because then I can pretend other people have done the same thing. And the third thing that I want to do is to get more in touch with my collection and to know my collection more. So Reverse Rouge, I think I'm going to get most of my points from using up skincare and using up samples and base products. I think I'll, I'll use up like foundations and concealers and things. I don't see me finishing any eyeshadow palettes. I own far too many and like I'm not aiming to sicken myself of my products by forcing myself to use things non-stop. That will just, I'll just begrudge the whole thing if I start doing that. So I'm not, I think most of my reverse rouge points will come from skincare, not from makeup. Um, and I'm not aiming to finish a lot of makeup. What I'm aiming to do is get more in touch with my collection. So this year, what I was saying about my storage is that I'm going to move things about and I'm going to do makeup challenges. So things mainly from Reddit, so like 30 lipsticks for 30 days, um, like a palette a week, a blush a week, like a capsule face, like one palette, 10 uses. I haven't picked all the challenges yet. I have a list of challenges. Pick a kind of different one at the start of every month and I, I'm going to hopefully explore my collection more and get more in touch with what it is I actually own because there's so much stuff that I bought and literally swatched on the day that I bought it and bought it and then it's gone into a drawer with other lipsticks and I'm like I don't even know what that is. Like I've forgotten about it as soon as I bought it because I bought it for entirely the wrong reasons. That was my shameful confession of how much I've spent on beauty products in the last little while. That is my resolution. So number one is my year long no buy. Number two is to achieve reverse rouge at least and I think you get something called like double platinum pattern or something if you get $2,000 which would be 
really good but if I use a thousand dollars worth of product and I achieve reverse rouge in a year I'll be quite happy with that um, and to do makeup challenges and to get to know my collection more so I'm going to I think do maybe an update video I don't know maybe every month might be pushing it maybe every six weeks to every two months and let you guys know what I've used up and what my challenges have been and what that's taught me and what I've learned from it and hopefully this will be a journey where I really do change my habits and I address my feelings in other ways that is not spending money on things and then being like shit I could have like totally put a deposit on a house by now if I hadn't bought all that stuff. So yeah the worst is over. I have put it on camera, I have put it out into the world that I'm a shameful person and yeah it's it it can only get better at this point. So those are my makeup resolutions or my beauty resolutions. Let me know if you've got any beauty resolutions or any other resolutions this year in general. Um, I wish you lots of luck with them all and thank you very much for watching and yeah I'm excited for 2018 and what it will bring us. Bye!